<clears throat> Hello there, I'm Mr. Simon Shutarik. Today we'll be talking about network topologies, a very, very important chapter as far as networks are concerned for IGC, ICT and even for ALR program. So you have three kinds of network topologies we'll be referring to. We'll be referring to uh, the line topology and the ring topology and the lastly, the most important obviously is the star topology. As far as the line topology is concerned, it's used where there are very less number of computers. It's an old technology, it's not used nowadays. Um, you usually use a hub for that. Its hub is a device through which you can connect different computers together. A uh, switch is a more intelligent device, switch uh, has the concept of packet switching because every data is transferred through uh, an IP address through TCP IP. Anyway, that's not our discussion for today. So, as you can see in a line topology, you can see is we have two terminators, the end nodes, and you have computers attached to this main line. If the, if the line breaks down, these computers can communicate, and these computers can communicate among each other, but they cannot communicate between both of them. So, um, less computers used for an environment where you have limited amount of computers, don't have a server, that's the way we use line topology. If you connect both terminators, the end nodes together, it becomes a circle or as you may say, a ring topology. A ring topology again for a, for a very small environment, not for a very large environment, no central server. You can attach, yes, you can attach different peripheral devices. You can attach um, <coughs> cameras, scanners, whatsoever. The last one that you have is the star topology. The star topology happens to be one of the most important topologies nowadays. It's being used in most of the network, topo network topologies Reason be, being, uh, obviously, the network devices such as the, the, the switch have become much more cheaper. You go one decade back, switch is really expensive. expensive. So, Star Topology has a central computer, which is a server, which basically controls all the clients through the switch. So, if the server goes down, all the clients cannot communicate. And if the client goes down, uh, obviously, that particular client is down. That doesn't make a difference. So, a Star Topology is used in environments where you have a lot more number of computers. Um, that might be 25 or even 100. So this is where, why we use star topology for the number of computers. And obviously the most important again is um, you can have more admin rights specified to the clients. Uh, how much data can they use? What can they install or not install? Um, what data can go through the proxy server and so on and so on. So, so um, you can have more setting in the proxy server you can uh, allow them to use a particular type of uh, applications and what to browse and what not to browse. Our next lecture will be uh, more about <coughs> uh, TCP IP. We'll talk about more about protocols, uh, packet switching. Uh, this time I'm cutting down the lectures into more small, small um, parts, not very 30 minutes, 40 minutes lectures, because I just want to discuss particular topics in every lecture that I will be uploading. So see you then till the next lecture.